Hello everyone. In today's prehistoric animals in formations, we're going to be doing this. Ischigalosco formation, the late Triassic between 231.7 to 225 million years ago. So let's start with dinosaurs. Chromagosaurus, an extinct genus of Sonoliridae sorpotomorph. Eodromius, an extinct genus of probable basal theropod dinosaur from the late Triassic of Argentina. Like many other of the earliest known dinosaurs, it hails from the, Carn the Carnarinian age. 230 million years ago. Eoraptor. Despite the name and its appearance, it is actually a basal sauropodomorph. One of the earliest known dinosaurs and one of the most early members of the sauropod family. It lived approximately 231 to 228 million years ago. Horrorosaurus, a large carnivorous dinosaur. For many years, the classification of Horrorosaurus was unclear because it was known from very fragmented remains. It was hypothesized to be a basal theropod, a basal sorpanomorph, a basal sorosukian, or not a dinosaur at all, but another type of Archosaur, however, with the discovery of an almost complete skeleton and skull in 1988. Horosaurus has been classified as an early Saurusugian, and the most of the phylogenies on the origin and early evolution of the dinosaurs. It would have preyed upon small and medium-sized plant eaters. These might have included other dinosaurs such as Pisanosaurus, as well as more Rhinchosaurs and Synapsids. So, these might have included other dinosaurs such as Pisanosaurus, as well as Horosaurus itself, may have been preyed upon by giant Rasukian, like Sorosuchus, which if protrude wounds were found on, on one skull, and coprolites, which is fossilized dung containing small bones, but no trace of plant fragments. Discovered in the Estrengo Formation have been assigned to Horosaurus based on abundance. Mineralogical and chemical analysis of these coprolites indicated, indicates that if the riffle to whoever source was correct that this carnivore could digest bone. Panphagia, another Saturnidae, a basal sauropodomorph. The teeth of Panphagia indicate a possible omnivorous diet. A transistor in form between the mostly carnivorous theropods and 
the herbivorous sauropodomorphs. The teeth in the back of the jaw are shorter than those in, in the front, are leaf shape, and also have more marked serrations. San Juan Soros, a Horosauridae. And that's it. Like and subscribe. And see you later, guys.